Nigga, I yeah, my people broke. I never had wires, though. Cause I you run your mouth, nigga, and a nigga broke that joke cause you a pussy. Yeah, stop that, man. Oh, man. Flexing, flexing, flexing about that money, I've been had that shit. Niggas bragging about that hoe, but I've been fucked that bitch. Niggas rapping, hey. niggas rapping about that drill, but they don't drill like this. Hey. Niggas crying about they homie, cause we whack that bitch. Hey. Me and phone them smoking Bobo on that bullshit. Right, facts. And I do want to ask you, bro, you know, not to bring up everything again. I know um, times is changing, people moving on with stuff, bro. But how you been going? How you been doing ever since I heard the news about Mubu Crump? Oh, shit, my fuck, you know, it's good days and bad days and shit, but, you know, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I ain't, I ain't lost motherfuckers before, like, you know, coming up in, in the city, you know, you lose motherfuckers every day, friends, family, and everything, but ain't nothing that ever really hit and hurt this hard, but shit, you know, I'm getting better with this shit, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I try to keep myself, you know, focused on what matters, and, you know, in this rap shit, because, you know, for a minute, that nigga was off the deep end, you know, on some whole other shit, that's why I, I really took so long to put this little shit together for the project. I would have been had this shit done, but my phone was off on some whole other shit, you know? <laughs> right, real talk, bro. I know, you know what? I got a question I want to ask you, bro. It's a real 100 question. And um, I, I've been asked this a lot, bro, so I want to give it to you. With uh, all the stuff that's been going on, and you know your cousin, Mubu Crump, he kind of went viral with the incident of him, unfortunately. I wanted to know, because I see you in a lot of Crump videos. I see you in a lot of his Instagram videos. I'm pretty sure the whole city know y'all cousins. Do you, uh, do, you, do you move around different now, bro? Nah, shit, nah. I mean, not really. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's the same old same shit, because it was never a point where we was like, don't get me wrong, like, motherfucker ain't never worried. Or, you know, tripping on none of these niggas that we supposedly into it with, but we've been moving like, like we give a fuck about our life. Like, that's how anybody moves like shit. When you, you know, out here and you in this shit, you feel me? You gotta move a certain way, but I nah, ain't really changed no way. My fuck just, we ain't never really been for, you know, the goofy shit, you know? Mm -hmm. My fuck pop out when we pop out, whenever we pop out, we safe. Mm -hmm. just, you know, shit happen. Right, fast, bro. I mean, that's some real stuff. You know, um, I hear a lot about that east side, bro. I want to know something, man, because a lot of people tell me, even though we hear a lot of stories about Inglewood, we hear a lot of stories about Roseland, a lot of people tell me it's cracking out there out east, bro. How do y'all really chill out there, bro? Ain't no chilling on the blocks, ain't like no barbecues and nothing, everything indoors or something? I be seeing that too, bro. And you know, since I know you be in the city, bro, and a lot of your songs you be representing the city too. So I want to ask you, bro, did you feel some type of way when Takashi Six Nine came out here? I mean, nah. To be honest with you, like with the whole Takashi shit, like I definitely wasn't rocking with him when he was dissing, you know, Herb and you know all the niggas in the city. But ever since Takashi came out, like I was like, okay, like you know, he he got a How did you feel about the news about Zach TV, bro? About who? 
about Zach TV. How did you feel about that news? What was your head when you got the news? What was your mindset when you got the news? Oh, man, that shit fucked me up because, you know, Zach, that was my boy. And Zach's been one of the ones, like, who really got a voice in this shit and never really played no favoritism in this shit. Like, Zach fucked with everybody. Like, it's a lot of niggas in this shit, like DJs and promoters, you feel me, that when they that black ball and shit, I don't really believe in black ball, you feel me, because if you're working, eventually the work gonna pay off. But these niggas do make it hard for niggas, to, you know, because they fuck with other motherfuckers, and Zach was never like that. Zach was, you feel me, fucked with everybody, regardless of what you going on, got going on with this person, or you got going on over here, you feel me? If you tell me you trying to make something out of this shit, you feel me? I'm a rock with you. And Zach was my boy. Like, Zach was gonna get ready to do my uh, interview, like, right? and Zach stayed in contact with me the whole time. Crump was locked up, you feel me? He stayed checking in because he fucked with folks, and I mean, he fucked with me. So, I love Zach, so when that shit hit me, you know, that was some hard-ass shit to hit, because it's like, Zach don't even be on shit, like, he from where he from, but he'll never be on no fuck this side, or woo-woo, or none of this shit, you feel me? You always hear Zach say, free roam, you know, 10-5, MMG, you feel me, and that's it. He'll never be really doing with no fuck shit. So to hear that was kind of like hard and fun. It's just going to show you, like I say, when you ask me, am I moving different out here? Like, no, nah, you got to move how you move because if something's going to happen, it's going to happen regardless. Like, you know, Zach wasn't no lacking motherfucker. Zach kept a joint on him too. Right. But he, even though he wasn't involved in shit. But like you say, some shit is just un unavoidable. Uh, that's crazy, bro. Another thing I wanted to know, because from the outside looking in, it seemed like you know, certain people don't pose to get into issues, bro. I don't want to just place it on Chirac or just out there because I know it's everywhere. But is it to the point now where it don't even matter if you involved or not involved? Anything can happen to anybody at any moment. Is it like that now? I mean, pretty much, yeah. Because, like, motherfuckers, you got to understand, like, ain't no order, ain't no structure, ain't no nobody saying, no, don't do that. And then, I ain't going to lie to you, it's a lot of cold hearts out here, a lot of black hearts from the shit that, that there went on, so motherfuckers just want to get their get back, so they don't get no fuck if you, you know, ain't got shit to do with it, or you, you feel me, you say, no, nah, if you with them, and we catch them, you, you your target just as much as they is, or if you just didn't happen to be, you know, around, like you could be leaving the club, or be standing in front of the club, or be in the wrong place at the wrong time, motherfucker not getting that, oh, uh, no, nah, they over there standing by them, we can't get them right now, oh, uh, he's over there standing by these, this park with all these kids outside, or by these bitches, motherfuckers getting that, man, fuck them kids, and fuck that bitch, whack them. Damn, so, right, and it's fucked, it's fucked yeah. up, but it, that's how it is out here. Like, yeah. this nigga, like, it, it, it's cold. Yeah, that's crazy, and that's crazy part is a few people done told me that kind of shit too, and and that's wild, bro. I want to know uh, what new projects you got. I see you getting ready to drop. Oh yeah, and I just seen a record that you got with Crump too. Oh uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's one that's uh, gonna be on uh, rapping the purse. Like we had did that probably like I want to say a month ago. That's one of the ones we did. That's one that's gonna be on there. And then I got my uh, tape gonna come out. I ain't decided whether it's gonna be a tape, EP, or what, but we damn near gonna turn Rap in the, in the Purge into an album and put it up on iTunes and all that. But we can that shit together. But I'm either gonna have a tape or an EP drop. I'm trying to put it together for like August, but if not August, I'm probably gonna do it like close to November to make sure I got the video shot, the promo, and everything ready. And I'm gonna call that tape Street Education, my fault. Mm. Y'all in this shit. Uh, street education? Street education. Yeah, street education, yeah. Uh, that's what's up, bro. I'm rocking with it too, man. I think you... I, me personally, Bam, bro, I think, you, you're a fr I think you're a breath of fresh air, bro. I think your flow... I think your flow... I'm going to tell you what I like about your flow, bro. It kind of reminds me of like... Bro, I think you like in the... In the I, I don't really know how to put this. I think if drill rap had a major look to it, I think your flow is like drill rap, but just on a, on a major level. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. I just be trying, like, shit. And with me, like, the way I'll go and do a song, like, other niggas, like, I don't ever judge myself how other motherfuckers work. You feel me? Like, I may hear a beat, and it may take me, like, two, three days or some time to go and write to it, because, don't get me wrong, I like being in the studio and just going, because, like, I think some of my best shit come off the top when I'm in the studio, but 
I like to kind of get a song started before I go in there bitch to have an idea of what right. I want to do. But some, but some motherfuckers can just go in there and knock this shit out. And, you know, kudos to them, but I kind of want to have an idea of what flow I want to use and what I want to talk about, what I want to do before I go in there. But, yeah, I appreciate all the love, man. Everybody who tuned in, how you, you can be showing love and shit. But uh, uh, what else I got going on? Oh, and I'm starting, not only want to say a label, but it's going to be like a love, a music group. And okay. what I'm doing with that is, you feel me? Because, like I say, Zach was one of them people who just looked out for people and really didn't give a fuck about what side you came from. And, like I say, it's a lot of motherfuckers like to shoot your videos that won't shoot it. Yeah, you feel me? You fuck with this nigga, or they won't get back to your email because you ain't got no clout or whatever. I'm fucking with whoever in the city that want to link up and do some music, and we really going to start a group where we going to push each other music. We going to get in contact with these videographers that we already got relationships with. Mm -hmm. Build that up so you ain't even got to go through the, 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 the fuck shit of trying to kiss this nigga ass or get them email you back for a video or Thanks. send this beat to you. If you within our love network, you're going to be plugged in already, so it's going to kind of knock down some of that, that, that barrier shit to keep motherfuckers from getting on. Because we got a lot of motherfuckers in the city that want to rap and that do rap, but just that, like, uh, most of them, like you say, they come from the street, so they don't really know how to email, like, as far as you, they can hit your DM on Instagram and get a, a, a reply from you, hey, the truth, I want to do an interview or a truth, throw my video up, right. and you will go ahead and, and fuck with them. But they don't know how to email a, a, a fake short drive or True. nobody like that to try and get they, 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 they self out there. And then it's motherfuckers that make me have a, a better flow than me, a, a pop party than me. I'm not no hater, bro. If I can put you on to get in that dope, Go ahead. That's what our problem is. Nobody want to help nobody out because they don't want to fuck all that again in front of them. You got to understand, if we're doing this shit together and I'm working with you and you pop harder than me, it's going to make it easier for me. True. True. That's some real shit, bro. I totally and, agree and, with that. And I ain't going to lie, that's one of the things I miss so much about folks, you feel me, because as big as he was, you feel me, me and him worked together on everything. Like, he never, you know, cut me short or none of that shit. It's like, right. we was always doing this and this shit together. That's what makes this shit so hard. And that's like, I'm doing this shit on my own by myself. But it's all cool. Like I say, if he was here, he'd do the same thing for me. Most definitely, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though. I appreciate chopping it up with you, bro. You already know, shit. Anytime my nigga say you can be showing love, I'm gonna show love right back. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we got... Rapping the purge is coming so and I keep saying that to y'all. It's coming, but we just gotta get everything, have everything straight through because when it drops, you feel me? Y'all was like, damn, folks was working hard as hell. We got hella shit coming for y'all. I'm gonna drop my tape to keep y'all fed, you feel me? Okay. And it's coming. And the new shit even with the uh the group I'm starting is Triple B Count Mob. Okay. Girls, producers, DJs, whoever wanna link up, you feel me? Hit my DM, we can go link up, we can do some music, we can, you know, do a real Chicago movie. You feel like everybody get on, like, no disrespect to anybody that got on before, but they kind of like, everybody had their own waves and nobody really pushed each other. Like, they fuck with each other, but right. nobody was really pushing each other. Right. But right now, I'm trying to start a movement to where we all gonna move together. Like, not on, I don't want to say like on no Atlanta shit, because we're not Atlanta, but on some Chicago shit, but we gonna move together. Be in these shows together. If we gotta go out of town, we move it together. So all that Takashi shit coming, like just truth be told, like nothing I had a problem with. But when folks came in and was playing with motherfuckers like that, the whole city was supposed to get on his ass. Like get on his ass. Like you can't come here playing with nobody from here, but because it's so divided and how it is, you can't really, you know, because this group don't fuck with that group and I'm in tour with this nigga, you feel me? Like it ain't gonna work work like that. So we gotta have it already had that network put together. So when the motherfucker do pull it or play like that, now nah, you think you can't go go to war without no army. You get an army to go to war. So, and we can't go to war. We already at war with each other. Facts, facts, real shit, bro. What's your Instagram? What's all your What's all your social medias, bro? Oh uh, yeah, Instagram. I got a new one. I had to make a new one because they was on some police shit with the last one. So I had to turn that <laughs> into the uh, into the fucking uh the group page. But my Instagram is at Bam No underscore, no space, or nothing. At Bam Twitter. At Bam Duop, okay. Triple B, at Bam Duop, B, B, B. And then, uh, shit, that's it. That's all I got. My Instagram, my Twitter, anything else is fake. 
Man, most definitely, bro. Keep it up, man. Oh, you know what, bro? I do got one question I want to ask you, bro. I, I I don't know if it's appropriate, but I got to ask you, bro, because a lot of people want me to know. I want to know, man, because sometimes things is bigger than the city and it's bigger than the issues. If you woke up in the morning and got a call from Lil Durk and he like, look, we want to end all this bullshit. Let's do a record and show the city that we united. Is that something you think about? I would tell him to go smoke a dick. I hear you. Don't smoke a dick right now. Like, them niggas, and I can't, and I'm going to tell you why. Like, like to y'all, it, it, it's entirely possible because y'all don't know what's going on. Like, behind that shit, them mm. niggas still, not him personally, but his homie and shit, they still be in my DM, come playing and do all that. That's why I be on my shit tweaking like how I be tweaking. They come on my shit playing all the time, trying to play with my, my cousin's name, so they playing like, but I ain't even going to speak on that. But yeah, they, they come playing all the time.